The best part of waking up is period in your cu- I mean, up. Ah! 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 ah. ah. Yuck. Well, make womb for breakfast. There is no urine-shaped cereal aiming to normalize conversations at the breakfast table about periods. My only question is, does the milk turn red? I, I, that's the question to me. The, I think that's the real question that people want to know. Why? This is just the latest in a massive woke push in food we're going to go through. Not everything from breakfast cereal to Skittles to, you know, uh, coffees. Speaking of which, I've let you alone all week, basically, about the coffee company. So I just want to remind you. My coffee company is coffee brand coffee.com. It's a no gimmicks, high quality coffee. We have five different roasts, uh, standard roasts, plus a decaf and three different hot cocos and just in time for summer cold brew bags these things are absolutely awesome on a nice warm day you get some cold brew coffee i keep a pitcher in the fridge i won't tell you to buy anything and say Mo, trust me but all i'll ask is that you go to the website and check out the reviews there's three just went from 371 to 375 375 reviews all from confirmed customers of both the hot cocoa, all the coffees, everything. There's video reviews. There's, and it, like, don't take my word for it. Check out coffeebrandcoffee.com. And if you want to support a gimmick free coffee uh, or cocoa company, please do make consider making a purchase today. I'll also have five flavors of tea. Probably not this, not to, not next Friday, but maybe um, close. Less than two weeks. We're working on the packaging right now. Um, also, promo code the quartering, save five percent on single bag orders. Or if you do the auto renew, I'll give you ten percent off. Make womb for breakfast. A uterine shaped cereal has launched with the goal of putting conversations about periods on the table. Feminine care brand Intimina developed a raspberry flavored period crunch. To encourage families to discuss menstruation at uh, more openly at breakfast. What a, I can't think of a better time to talk about it than at the dinner table or the breakfast table. Um, it's, it's an awesome time. Uh, maybe while you're putting some ketchup on your scrambled eggs, you know, for the imagery or well, like soft boiled eggs and ketchup maybe, or, you know, something, some of that nature. I think you should really sell out on it, you know, make sure that you have, Raspberry chocolate milk or raspberry milk or strawberry milk for breakfast too. Um, the wheat-based cereal is a PR stunt, which obviously won't go on sale. Is dyed red to mimic, obviously, things. Intimina claims conversations about the periods are not truly normalized. And it wanted to make a statement about the issue. What? What? You know, like... Okay. <laughs> Gross. Previous research has shown stigma around that time of the month can cause boys to mock girls at school, which nearly half of women say they have been period shamed. Look, yeah, it's something that young boys uh, say or make fun of people, and it's stupid and dumb. There are a lot of stupid and dumb things young boys do that a uterus-shaped cereal isn't going to fix. Um, you know, ultimately, you see, you know, look, <laughs> for all the... Anybody who's dating a woman, a woman, a woman out there, a biological woman, uh, <laughs> you are well aware of it. It's one of the things that... And by the way, women don't want to talk about it either. Where are the real... Like, where are the women out there that are like, hey, I really want to be talking about uh, what's going on right now? I haven't met any. Now, maybe they exist. Maybe there is women out there who just are dying to talk about, uh, you know, shedding those uterine walls uh, during their breakfast or at their lunch. They really just want to talk about it. But again, this is another like perfect example of uh, something that really nobody wants. No, nobody, nobody. Nobody's asking for this. 
but I guess. I mean, I, I guess. And by the way, there's a huge pushback on a lot of this this garbage. I mean, if you look at, you know, Kellogg spoon feeds activism with woke cereal. This was last year. They had this together cereal, which had I don't know six types of cereal all put together or whatever. Kellogg's hasn't been sugar hasn't been sugar coating its agenda for years. But its later venture, a crea- latest venture, a create your own pronoun cereal for kids, is bowling over parents. Boxes are for cereal, not people. The company insists about its new Together with Pride Rainbow Edition that donates three dollars from every box to some LGBTQ. Three dollars? It's more than three dollars for a box of cereal? I guess it's been a while since I've gone grocery shopping. Glad, who's out to recruit and confuse your children, of course. Anyone who's been online or walked the aisles of the grocery stores knows that some companies will do anything to pander to the left. By this June, these brands are on a collision course with a group of fired up American shoppers who just might eat them for breakfast. Everyone from Coca-Cola to Major League Baseball could have told Kellogg's that it was a bad idea. After speaking out against Georgia's election reforms, the fixture in American soda has taken a major hit, not just in profits, but in PR. 37% of Americans, myself included, they say, uh, say they're less likely to buy Coke products now, leading several CEOs to wonder, get woke, or go woke, go broke. Oh, why does everyone get that wrong? And yet misguided businesses from Lego to Disney and Mars and Nestle continue to poke the bear with in-your-face campaigns that target uh, kids with radical brands of leftism. There are Rainbow Skittles, uh, Custom Converse, even Love is Love Le Crusette. I don't know what that is. Um, but they're coming onto the market at a time when most Americans are saying enough. They don't want cereal preaching uh, wokeness to, or drinks fighting voter ID by a three to one margin. They don't want corporations openly involved in political activism. Exactly. Which is exactly what I'll promise you, uh, you know, as coffee brand coffee, we will never make any kind of statements, political statements of any kind. According to Gallup, the fatigue over this LGBTQ messaging is finally starting to register on national scale too. In the last year, the enthusiasm for products like boys and girls sports and uh, trans identifying people in the military is bottoming out in bad news for these brands, which everyone else on the left bandwagon, a solid majority of Americans, 62%, don't want our daughters competing against biological boys in athletics. Introducing Period Crunch, the raspberry flavored cereal shaped like uteruses. No. Remember M&M's? M&M characters have been redesigned, leaving us all completely baffled. This is when this is when M&M's did it. But also, this Mars Inc. weird attempt to make M&M characters woke is maybe the strangest, most confusing thing we've ever seen, and it's a move that has us questioning both our sanity and our values. How are we expected to go about our daily lives knowing this has happened, but we're never going to fully understand it? Eminem releases a press release this week announcing its fresh modern take on the looks of our beloved characters and more nuanced personalities to underscore the importance of self-expression and the power of community through storytelling. It's part of a bigger global commitment they're making to a world where everyone feels they belong and society is inclusive, which is a really nice thought, except that Eminem characters don't really look any different. And we're not sure what they're going to reach the company's goal of increasing a sense of belonging for 10 million people around the world. In fact, they basically look exactly the same. But of course, M&Ms get a more inclusive makeover, giving the green one sneakers. The two female presenting M&Ms, green and brown, have had their appeal turned down, whatever that is. As far as the tiny chocolate candies can hook up, uh, as far as tiny chocolate candies can have that kind of appeal, their stances are more normalized. They have less exaggerated features. Their shoes are more sensible. Brown shoes have lower heels, and the green's go-go boots have been switched out to sneakers. What? What? Are they prob- They're probably still making 78 cents to the dollar for what male-presenting M&Ms make. That was not covered in the press release. And then we had, of course... Not everyone on the internet, remember when Skittles, when Skittles decided, hey, we're going to make white Skittles for Pride Month? And that backfired? Not everyone on the internet is pumped that the Skittles went white for Pride Month. 
The Skittles are white this month because a message in the back of the limited edition new bag puts during Pride only only one rainbow matters, so we've given up ours to show support. But since March, for some time, the white bag and the white only coating for the shelled fruity treats was considered a misstep raised on the issue of exclusion. Critics took to Twitter to share that they felt the new direction was inadvertently tone deaf rather than supportive of LGBTQ people as the company intended. Others shared they loved the new semi brand new bag, finding it a positive public relations move. Did they make the candy cheaper? Did they make the candy more delicious? All I know is that they brought back lime, which is insane. It green should have stayed green apple forever. But yeah, check out coffeebrandcoffee.com and our, our reviews before. Or just check out the reviews. Maybe, you know, if you're not a coffee drinker, we've got cocos, we've got merch. We I think we've got like 15 hats left. Um, so uh, I'll leave you alone all next week on the Coffee Brand Coffee 2 until I have something interesting to say, which will probably not happen until the teas come out. I hope you enjoyed this video, though, and we'll talk to you again real soon.